Hey guys, it's Abe from Coaster Kids, and today I'm here with my friend Cameron at Six Flags Marine World, also known as uh, Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. So hopefully we can ride some coasters if the coasters are open, but uh, let's see what we can do. Ready to go? Yes. All right. I would probably give it a uh, 3.25 screams. The launch is fun, but um, it's pretty short. The lap bars are really nice, which isn't something you always see on Skyrocket 2s, but it's a bit of a short layout. It's not super intense. Three screams, it's still a fun ride. Yeah, I like it. It's fun, OG Skyrocket 2. The non-inverting loop is forceful and fun, intense. Uh, I'd also rate it like a 3.25 or something. Yeah, it's pretty fun. All right, awesome. Wait, no, can we go? We have to go to Batman. Just a few moments later. which is really fun. It was my second time ever riding it. Uh, we definitely didn't ride it when we tried to film this video the first time. Definitely did not. It's a bit intense. We actually got a little bit of air time. Uh, flips a ton, I'd give it 4.75 screams. Yeah, our car was off balance this time. There was nobody sitting across from us. It was just amazing. We flipped three times, 4.75. All right, awesome. You want to ride again? Yes. All right, let's go. Cameron and I just rode Joker, which is a really, really awesome RMC conversion of Roar, and uh, I love this thing. It may be one of the worst RMCs, but I still love it. It provides awesome airtime, great pacing. It's definitely a little bit short, but it makes up for that with airtime and intensity. It's overall an awesome ride. I would give it um, a five screams. Yeah. Yeah. Say what you want, worst RMC. It's still an RMC. It's going to be great airtime, conversions, everything. I'd rate it a five. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, that was some uh, pretty good Big Belly Burger, I must say. Do you uh, want to go ride a V2 or a Flash? Alright, let's give this a shot. Let's see. Hopefully it's oh, and, oh no. One minute, 37 seconds later. Five minutes later. Four to six days later. Four to six more days later. Alright, you know what? Nothing can stop me or me. Flashback. So we just got off of vertical, I mean, uh, flash, and uh, it was pretty good. It's a pretty similar ride experience to before it got rethemed. It's the same, pretty much. It just got repainted, and there's a little bit of theming, but it's still a fun ride. The launch is pretty nice. I'd probably give it a three screams. Yeah, I disagree with him. I'd also rate it a three. It's just the same thing. End of flashback. So that one, that one. Cinematic.
boomerang. Um, it's a fun ride. It's pretty intense actually. I think we measured that it hit something like 5.2 G's. Yeah, I'm not sure how reliable that is. But um, it's pretty intense. It does have a little bit of rattle and you definitely get some head banging. So because of that, I'd probably give it uh, two screams. It's still pretty fun though. Yeah, it is, it is kind of rough, like on that cover roll right there, but it is really intense, that's why I rated it probably two and a half or something. Yeah, all right, let's go. Hello. Go to Discovery Theater in Thomas Jones. it three times we rode twice in the back and once second to back and like we got floater air time on the truck it was really good I don't know how I never noticed how good this is even though I come here all the time I love it it's easily second best in the park it's intense I didn't get any head banging and like I said you actually get air time on a floorless coaster so I'd probably give it 4.75 screams yeah, I don't know how you get air time on a flawless coaster, but it's there. But it's just amazing. The inversions are cool. That zero G roll is very cool. Um, I'd also rate it at 4.75. It's just a great ride. It's awesome. satisfactory coaster the first time I ride, rode it I didn't really get the hate uh, then I rode it again a few weeks ago and it was really really unpleasant I know some people love it some people don't everyone has their own opinions which is totally cool but for me it's pretty unpleasant I'd probably give it uh, 0.5 screams yeah agreed I don't really like this ride it's too rough for me I'd probably rate it like a half screen or something it's just not that great yeah spend your time marathoning Medusa yes. like us <laughs> yeah so that wraps up our day here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. It was really fun, everything worked out, the operations were pretty good, the ride ops were really nice, and we managed to get on every major coaster. So that's definitely fun. What do you think? Yeah. Fun visit, fun coasters, um, okay park, but <laughs> it was just a great visit overall. Yeah, um, it's fun with friends, and it shows that even parks that are mediocre can still be really fun. And uh, as always, make sure to be brave, brave and ride, ride on. on. Bye guys. Later that same evening. <laughs> Here we go.